This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, today we are going to talk about JavaScript executors in Selenium Python. It's a very important topic, very simple, very interesting. A lot of things you will get to know. And if you know already JavaScript executor in Selenium with Java, then it will be very easy for you guys because the most of the syntax will remain same with respect to JavaScript. And uh, let's see how exactly it works. So guys, uh, uh, JavaScript executor is a utility, is a kind of API is available in Selenium Python, which says that, okay, if you really want to execute any JavaScript code, not uh, Python code, I'm talking about JavaScript code, if you really want to execute, then you can do that because there are a lot of uh, features which are not directly available in Selenium, which can be done through JavaScript. Let's see if I, I really want to do a scroll down or scroll up. I really want to click on a particular button or link with the help of JavaScript. Your normal dot click is not working. In that case, you can do that. If you really want to, uh, let's see, refresh the page. If you really want to get the title, you can do that. Okay, with respect to JavaScript, although these methods are available in Selenium also, but there are some extra stuff you can do that. Let's see if you if you really want to take inner text of the entire page, then you can do that. There is no direct method available in Selenium, but with the help of JavaScript executor, you can do that. Let's see, I want to generate some alert. In that case, you can do that. So let's see, this is the Amazon page, right? Any any application you can pick, you right click on it and go to, let's see, inspect. You open your Chrome Dev Tools and go to the console tab over here, clear the console. And then you simple write one message over here that, okay, hey, alert, whatever the message you want to write, let's see, uh, hello, Naveen. So the moment you write alert, hello Naveen, this hello Naveen getting is printed over here. So this is called JavaScript method, guys. Okay, this is called JavaScript method like that. So let's see if you really want to go to some other website, let's say go to app.hubspot.com, you right click on it, go to inspect, and let's say I want to inspect, you go to console and uh, you inspect this guy. All right, go to console and then, uh, okay, let's say I want to enter something over here. So here, what you can do, you simply write a document dot get element by ID and ID of that particular element is let's say username like that. Okay, so this is representing this particular email ID. And if you really want to enter something with that also, you can simply do that. So, okay, so how to do that? You simply write let's see dot value. There is a function in JavaScript and let's say I want to write Naveen over here and you press enter. Okay, Naveen should be entered over here. So I think uh, get element by ID. Okay, dot value should be equal to Naveen or I can do one thing. I can write it like this. Let's see. See, yeah, this is the right syntax. So you can pass Naveen directly over here with the help of JavaScript executor. I mean, with the help of some JavaScript function over here like that, right? So let's say I want to, I, I'll simple, let's see, clear the console. I want to execute, I want to refresh this particular page. So you simply go to history dot go and pass zero over here. So the moment you enter this particular page, I mean, uh, run this particular command, you see the browser is getting refreshed over here. So this is the equivalent JavaScript method is available over here. So if you really want to execute this method <clears throat> with Selenium Python, in that case, JavaScript executor is available, right guys? So let's see what other different various methods are available. So what I'm gonna do, uh, let me go to the PyCharm, click on this and create a new Python file. <clears throat> and let's see, this is my Java script executor concept. And uh, I quickly do one thing that I'll just copy paste uh, this is stuff from here to here like that and uh, let's see, I'll simply go to amazon.in over here. Okay, launch the URL. Now what I'm gonna do that uh, for JavaScript executor guys, it's a very simple method is available. So let's see first method I'm gonna talk about it. How will you click on a specific link or button or whatever? So you simply write that driver dot, driver dot execute script method is there. Okay, so you have to execute a script, but how will you uh, do that? So for doing this, you have to pass one JavaScript over here. So how to do this? 
So for doing this, what you have to do that uh, <clears throat> I'll show you. Uh, you simply write this thing over here. Okay. In double quotes, you simply write argument arguments zero. Okay. Arguments zero and simple write dot click over here like that and put a semicolon. And here you have to pass one element on which element you want to click. So for that purpose, what we have to do, we have to create a web element over here. So let's see, I want to click on, let's see on best sellers. So you see that, okay, this is a link text. So I'm going to create best sellers web element over here. So I simply say best underscore uh, sellers is equal to driver dot find element by dot link text and then and the same best sellers you have to pass it over here so what exactly it will do we are not using driver dot find element dot click method we are using we are creating a web element and this particular web element will be clicked by this particular javascript code that we have written argument zero dot click okay so let's see it is uh, working or not so yeah browser is getting launched entering the url and uh, see it's clicking on best sellers that's why we are coming on the best sellers page over here like that right guys so pretty simple like that you can do that so if your normal dot click is not working in that case what you can do that you can simply use argument zero dot click and pass the web element it will work now let's see i want to do that okay one more thing that uh, driver dot execute script i want to get the page title so how will you get the page title so in javascript there is a okay there is a function you simply write a document dot title so the moment you write document dot title is of okay this particular code then you will get the title of the page although we have already having driver dot title method that also you can do that but if someone is asking you that okay hey with the help of javascript how will you do that document dot title it means for this particular document give me the title tag it will give you this particular tag over i mean the value of that particular title tag so let's see how to run it so you simply write document dot title and then you have to return keyword over here you have to write return keyword it means you uh, document dot title and return it also so when you return it what exactly you're going to do that okay you are going to store in some title variable is equal to this and let's try to print this particular title on the console sorry like that okay so first what we exactly we are doing we are going to the best sellers and from the best sellers the title should be like this amazon dot in best sellers or you can get the title anywhere whenever you want so let's run it and let's see so yes browser is getting launched it should click on best sellers and yes see we are getting the right title amazon in best sellers the most popular items on amazon right so like this you can simply get the title now let's see after getting the title i want to refresh my page so simple write driver dot once again execute your script you want to refresh you simple write i have already told you history dot go and pass a zero over here put the semicolon and that's it so let's see it should refresh so although we have already seen that okay driver dot back forward and refresh method okay so with the help of javascript also you can do that did you notice it got refreshed the page got refreshed after landing on this particular page so if someone is asking you what are the different ways of refreshing the page or getting the title you can simply say that okay document dot title history dot go zero to refresh the page okay this also you can do that now let's say i want to generate an alert over there so how will you generate an alert so but that i have already shown you you simply write one alert method and let's say hello Naveen. So hello Naveen will be generated. So how to do that? You simply write driver dot execute script. Okay. And you simply write this is my alert method. And inside my alert method, whatever the message you want to print, let's see this is hello selenium. I want to print. Okay. You pass this particular message and uh, that's it. And let's see it is working or not. Put a semicolon over here and let's see it is working or not. It should generate the alert after landing on bestsellers. See, can you see that? Hello, Selenium. 
is there right so although practically don't we don't generate the alert okay uh, while executing the script otherwise it's actually pausing your script i mean actually blocking the script execution but for the debugging point of view or if you really want to show some uh, a demo to the client in that case you can simply do that okay perfect so when you generate the alert then that immediately after that you can write the code for okay alert handle also you can drive a dot switch to dot alert you can do that and then you can handle the alert that okay as well like that but let's say i don't want to generate the alert you simply remove this now there is one more method see there is one more method that okay let's say i land on this particular amazon dot in or whatever the page you simple write let me clear the console you simple write document okay dot inner text okay so there is a method document dot inner text so okay not like this you simple write document dot document element dot inner text right so you will see whatever the text is available on this particular page right whatever the text okay any text is visible on the page everything will be given to you you can see that okay there are a number of footer links and everything is available everything will be given to you okay you can see that over here like okay all the text which is written on this particular page will be given to you like that so this is pretty simple and pretty awesome because get page source will give you the entire page source along with the javascript and html code but if you really want to write in a text method it will just give you the exact text whatever written on the page and if you really want to verify this will help you for content testing if you really want to do that the content you want to verify you can simply do that so let's see how to uh, use this method i simply say that okay hey driver dot execute the script what is your script so my script is you simply return what you want to return uh, document dot document element okay dot inner text method is there put a semicolon okay like that and uh, you store in a particular inner underscore text is equal to this and you print it on the console let's see print inner text right so we are landing on the best sellers page and then uh, we are trying to fetch the inner text so let's see it's happening or not okay so inner text wise you can see some text is available over here and you can okay i think it's not getting it let me check document dot document element make sure there is no spelling mistake and uh, element dot inner text that you have to write which is absolutely good okay i'll do one thing let me just copy this exact thing from here to here okay so let's write once again document dot inner text document element dot inner text it should work or let me remove the semicolon and let's see okay it's not coming i'll do one thing let me just comment it out this particular the and uh, let's run it again it should work let's see once again so no it's not coming i'll do one thing that uh, i'll just try to print this entire stuff directly over here okay let's see and uh, return document dot element dot text and then this time i'm going to put semicolon let me comment it out this line it should <clears throat> let's run it again although this method is not that popular but if someone wants to use that you guys can simply do that okay i think it's still not getting it so are we missing anything document dot element dot inner text which is absolutely fine and uh, it's not giving you any error as well i'll do one thing let's not go to best sellers might be possible that okay on the best seller there is no actual text is available so what we can do that uh, we can directly go to amazon.in and then we'll try to get the text over there so let's see
Yeah, that is a problem because on bestseller, there is no actual inner text is available for the elements. Now we have on the Amazon.in, we have a lot of text is available. Now you can see that entire text is coming over here like that. Okay, because on bestsellers, guys, there is no text is available for the elements. But on the main page on Amazon.in, there are a lot of text is available. That's why we are able to get this particular text for each and every web element. So like this, you can simply do that. Okay. Now, um, let's see some more methods. Let's see, I want to do one thing that uh, I want to create a, a border for a specific element. So how to do that? So for creating a border, now see, this is something interesting. You will like it. A driver dot, let's see, this is a bestseller element. I'll open this particular bestseller element once again. And driver dot, you simply write, execute the script. And which script? You simply write arguments, okay? You simply write arguments with zeroth argument, and it should be in double quotes, first of all. So arguments zero dot, you simply write style dot background color. Okay, background color is equal to whatever the color that, okay, or, uh, or let's see not background color you can do one thing style dot border you want to create okay is equal to let's see for three pixels of red color solid red color you can write it like this okay and then whatever uh, the best seller that okay you are looking for that you can do it so i'll do one thing uh, this is the thing and then the best seller is the element you have to pass it like this so argument zero dot style dot border is equal to three pixels of solid red for this. So let's see it is working or not. This is something very helpful. Okay, did you notice <clears throat> for the best seller one red color solid red box is coming. Three pixels of solid red color. So whenever there is a bug or you want to take the screenshot the way we do it in manual testing, right? Whenever there is a bug, we take the screenshot, we open in a paint we put some uh, border over there and then we submit with that, you know, bug description and everything while logging the bug. Same thing, you can do it with automation also. Before taking the screenshot for the failure, you can call this particular method and then simple take a screenshot with the borders of that particular element. So this also you guys can do that for drawing a border for any kind of element, you can simple do that, okay? So this also you can do that. Now let me show you one more example for the solid red. Let's say I want to create some problem with this particular form, this entire form. So let's see if there is a form or not. So I'll inspect this guy and uh, we will see, you can see that okay, form ID is equal to HS login. So I'm going to create one web element over here. <clears throat> let's see my web element is a uh, uh, form is equal to driver dot find element by dot, okay, by dot ID and then this is my form ID and the same form you pass it over here, right? And then change the URL because we are ending on this particular page now. So control V and now let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to comment this. I don't want to print any inner text and let's see for the entire form, there is a red color border is coming or not. Let's see. Uh, one second, it will give you an error because the best seller is not available. Let me comment it out and run it again. Okay. So it's waiting for five seconds just because of implicitly wait. And can you see this entire red color border is coming for the entire form. Awesome, right? And then you take the screenshot and then you submit the bug if any kind of error is there. Like that, you can simply do that with the help of JavaScript executor. Right, guys? So this is also there. Let me comment it out. I don't want to create the border unnecessary. Okay. Now let's see some more methods. So title, we have uh, seen that. Refresh, we have seen that. Alert, we have seen. Inner text and the border part also we have uh, seen that. And that dot click also we have seen that. Okay, how will you click on the specific web element or button or whatever? Simple argument zero dot click you can pass. Now let's talk about something else. Let's talk about how will you scroll page down, okay? So for that purpose, let's see, I'll go to this particular website that uh, uh, classiccrmpr.com, right? So when you land on this particular page, this is the login page, by default, okay, it's there. 
and I want that, okay, hey, you just go to the page down scroll. It means go to the bottom of the page immediately after that. By default, when you la la launch this particular application, right now the current view is this. This is the current view, right? What do you what I wanted? Okay, you go to the bottom of the page. It's been completely scrolled down. So how to do this? So for doing this, let's see. Uh, you go to inspect, go to console, and uh, there is a JavaScript for this. You have to use a window object dot uh, scroll to method is there, I guess. Yeah, scroll to, and you simple pass zero from where to where from zero to what? Go to document dot body. Okay, see document dot body dot up to the scroll height. You have to do that. Okay, see the moment I run this particular command immediately it's scrolling down over here. Can you notice? Can you notice? See, I'll run this particular command once again. Just clear the console and run it again. See, same thing. This command, if you really want to execute on uh, Amazon, let's see, we are on this particular page. Go to the console, clear the console and let's run it see we are going to bottom of the page see bottom of the page so this is complete scroll down you can do that so let's see how can we use over here i simple say okay driver dot <clears throat> uh, sorry driver dot execute script what is your uh, script so my script is this like that this is my script okay and uh, let's see it is going to the bottom of the page or not and i'll change the url let's see to amazon.in now let's run it again and let's see what happens see it's going at the bottom of the page at the footer of the page see like that right guys so this is something very important so sometimes what happens that okay hey you have to go to the bottom of the page let's see for footer links or whatever you can simply do that with this particular command okay so this is for scrolling to the bottom of the page now we have one more method that okay scroll uh, into view it means you just keep scrolling down let's see uh, this is the application what i'm saying is that okay you keep scrolling down like this and the moment you see a specific element you stop the scrolling let's see the moment i see forgot password you stop the scrolling, right? So how to do this? So let's see if I forgot password is a link. I'll create a web element over here. And let's see, this is my uh, forgot underscore password is equal to driver dot find element by dot link text. And this is the text of the link. Then I have to use a driver now, see it carefully, execute script and then you have to use in double quotes arguments zero okay argument zero and there is a method that scroll into view method is there your scroll into view is what it's true you have to pass one boolean parameter true like that and then which element up to which element that forgot password that you have written like that so argument zero dot scroll into view true that you have to pass and uh, let's see it is working or not so it should stop once the forgot password is visible or not to this particular page classic crmpr.com so let me change the url now okay so let's run it and let's see one second it's launching or not Yeah, it's launching now. See, did you notice? It just scrolled down up to forward password. Pretty awesome. So this is the way you can do a scrolling also. You can simply do that. So uh, let's see for scrolling, let's check it on uh, Amazon. This is a very good use case. So by default, we are on, okay, we will be landing on this particular page. And what I want that, um, uh, let me let me stop the scrolling when I get something. Um, let's see this particular this guy span bestsellers fitness and all those things. So I'll um, let me check the XPath for this 
h2 okay and the text i'll be writing is equal to this okay let me just inspect this guy once again let's see on amazon it's working or not so this is a span so let's write a span over here like that so we can use this particular xpath so what exactly i'm going to do by default first time it will come over here and it will please keep scrolling down until you see this particular uh okay this particular heading best sellers in sports fitness and outdoors so let's see what i'm going to do that uh, uh this time let me comment it out this guy and i'm going to create that uh, the header is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath and this is the xpath i'll be using and uh, let me write in double quotes because a single quote we are already using over there like that okay and the same let's see this is what which header let's see i simple say that okay this is my sports underscore header section okay just copy this and pass it over here and change the url of amazon okay to this yeah okay let's see it should stop it should keep scrolling down until the sports header is visible so let's see it is working or not awesome see it has stopped over here best sellers sorry here best sellers in sports fitness outdoor like that you can simply do that okay so this is pretty awesome you can simply do that so this is called scrolling you can do it over here right guys then uh, i think one more method we can do that if you really want to get the user agent so there is a navigator object is available not that important let's you go to console and uh, you want to see that okay you go to navigator right navigator dot user agent method is there so it will tell you that okay hey what kind of uh, browsers that you have we have mozilla we have apple webkit we have uh, uh a chrome that we have which is 83 safari also we have so if you really want to get this particular information you can do that so navigator dot user agent you have to use this particular method so i simply say that driver dot execute a script and this might be an interview question guys you can simply do that so return uh this and then you directly print it on the console like that okay so let's see we should get the user agent information this is actually an interview question so yeah we are ending on till here and then we are getting this information that okay yeah you have mozilla 5.0 and uh, on macintosh machine this is uh, your operating system mac os apple webkit and chrome that you have and safari you have so this is a complete user agent information that you are getting it over here so this also you can simply do that right um there is one more method guys that uh, what we have seen that uh, scroll page down that we have seen that right this by using this scroll to method same thing you can do the reverse right now we are passing zero over here like zero to up to the scroll height the uh, the vertical scroll height that we are passing over here zero to the scroll height what you can do if you reverse this order scroll height to zero it means you will go to top of the page so this is for uh to go to okay okay to scroll to uh for scrolling to um bottom of the page same thing if you really want to go top of the page so what you just need to do simple reverse the order right guys instead of passing from scroll height to zero you can do that the reverse the order like that you can simply do that so it will go to top of the page okay so like this you can do that so remember this thing scroll into view and uh, uh and the scroll to method both are very important right so yeah this is scroll into view <clears throat> and uh, 
can you pass the value by using send key just like we have send keys right yes we can do that so let's try let me comment it out all these guys let me try it is working or not so driver dot execute script and the script is that uh, see and i told you you go to this harvest spot login and go to console you try to enter that particular value that i told you okay let me write this uh javascript once again you simply go to document dot uh what get element by id so id of that particular element is username that you can inspect and then you simply write dot value is equal to i'm writing let's see naveen at the rate gmail.com so you can see naveen at the rate gmail.com got entered over here right let me run it again see it got ended over here so the same script you can use it over here so let's see if it is working or not so i'll just copy this entire script and in double quotes i'll write it like this and uh, yep yeah. okay let's see i'll just change the url to hubspot login.com see guys this is just a practice i'm not writing any generic functions so please i hope you guys can okay create the generic functions later we will try to do that later this is just a practice okay to see the various functions available in javascript and how can we execute them with this. so let's see it should work okay it's not entering the value and it's giving something javascript error cannot set property value of null okay okay so let's put a semicolon document dot get element id this dot value is equal to this I think it should work. Mm, put a semicolon over here. Okay, let's see. Otherwise, we can skip this particular part. You guys can try. Or maybe the problem with the application, not. <clears throat> but yeah, through the console, it's working fine. No, it's not entering the value. It's saying JavaScript cannot set property value of null. Uh, are we passing the right thing? Yeah, this is the right URL document dot get element by id username dot value is equal to this script is absolutely fine mm, okay i'll see this particular thing later you guys also try from here it's perfectly working see the same script is working from here but from the javascript executor from selenium it's not picking it's saying that uh, javascript exception cannot set property value of null value of null is not null it's we are passing the from value mm, okay let me do one thing let me change the quotes but that's okay that's uh, not an issue value is equal to this okay okay we will see this particular thing guys later but yeah that's not that important but you can click is very important sometimes dot click is not working so in that case you can directly use this okay you can use we have three options now a normal dot click with the help of actions chains you can do that with the help of actions class and with the help of argument zero dot click with the help of javascript executor also you can do that okay so that's just a small topic i really wanted to cover uh, please practice it's very very important and uh, very simple very straightforward something new to learn okay you can play with the javascript any kind of javascript you can execute with this method driver dot execute a script and that's it you should know the javascript right and someone was asking me that okay hey naveen do we need to learn these javascript code no it's not needed okay just keep it handy with you whenever it's needed you simple copy paste that's it okay guys so thanks for watching this particular video i hope you are learning javas uh, sorry you're learning selenium with python and then uh, very soon we are going to start our framework series as well with respect to selenium python one or two small topics are pending in selenium and then immediately after that we will start our uh, framework part so thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video